Have you ever been absolutely demolished by a Bristleback? Or just burned to shit by a Huskar and then eventually just you just can't kill him? Or maybe Phantom Assassins come over and just chopped your face off? Or I don't know, maybe you've tried to kill a Spectre, but instead you're the one that's died. Has all of this happened to you? Well, if so, in this video, I'm going to show you a few ways you can deal with this. And if you didn't know, PA, stop. We're trying to record an intro. And if, you did, and if you didn't know about this, then hey, hopefully this will help you out in your games. If you enjoy the video or you find it useful in any way whatsoever, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It is a brand new channel that I am trying to grow at the moment. And I am consistently posting a lot of videos. And there's quite a lot of you guys joining. So anyone who has already subbed, thank you very much. It is incredibly appreciated. But otherwise, well, let's go. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about a debuff that is not used anywhere near enough, in my opinion, and it's something that a lot of people should be picking up in their games or picking heroes to deal with these other heroes a lot easier. Now, how many of you guys, hands up or comments in the comment section would be better, have been absolutely stomped by these heroes way too often and you hate it? I personally ban PA almost every single game because she's overpowered and a piece of crap and I hate her the blur that you get from attacking her you miss a hell of a lot and also the fact that she can crit and basically like one hit your entire team when she gets even just a little bit of farm is absolutely ridiculous these are all heroes that people hate to fight against but they're easily countered with a break now break the debuff for break what it does is it's going to disable the passive effects of heroes that it is applied to a silver edge is one of the few sources that actually provide a break so you could grab a silver edge and you could attack bristleback and you see it says break above his head this lasts for four seconds on a silver edge many people know already that grabbing a silver edge disables this but it is not taken anywhere near often enough. If you're against a Bristleback who stomps early, like early in the game, like level six, level seven, level eight, he starts getting really big. Someone in your team who can carry a Silver Edge and make some use of it should start building a Silver Edge if you don't have some of the other sources. If you do, then great. But if you don't, then you want to be grabbing a Silver Edge to be able to deal with this. The same goes for these other heroes, in my opinion. This is absolutely a debuff that you can take advantage of and make such a huge difference with in so many ways. So we're going to go over a few of the heroes in just a second. But to begin with, let's talk about the sources. The sources for Break are Silver Edge. And the other one that is a great one is Viper with his Never Toxin. Now, many people see Never Toxin as just that. AoE of acid that does damage over time and it increases the longer you stand in it. Many people don't realize that nether toxin actually disables passives and applies break to everybody inside it. So if we put that down here, all of these heroes are now affected by break and their passives no longer work, which means Huskar's not getting regen, Spectre's not dealing dispersion, dispersion damage, PA cannot use blur and cannot crit you <laughs> and Bristleback cannot use his bristleback a passive effect and there's no, not gonna be any quills spraying out and he takes a lot like more damage than he normally would did you guys miss the fact that i said pa cannot crit you this disables pa's ult as well not just her blur but her ult a pa under the effect of break cannot use her crit because it is a passive effect that is insane you can almost fully counter pa with this now, obviously, a BKB is going to get rid of this, but if you have a Silver Edge and you give PA a BKB, let's have a look, for example, here we go. Then we apply this to PA and she uses BKB. She still stays broken. It doesn't work like that. You can't disable, oops, I've killed her and I didn't mean to. You can't actually debuff or purge or whatever you want to call it. You can't get rid of the break effect by using a BKB unless it is through a uh, viper's thing of course if you're in here you're gonna get rid of it that's how it works um but the silver edge does not get purged it doesn't get removed it is still applied so if you can use this on pa before the bkb you are absolutely good to go and it doesn't give it back now the silver edge only lasts for four seconds and it doesn't apply if she's already bkb'd but either way it is still a four second debuff that you can apply to her and if she bkbs then it sucks to be her she still can't do much damage to you and she still doesn't dodge the blur now there's a few other heroes that this is really incredible on so let's go over that and i'll mention those but these sources are on screen for you right now if you want to see all of those it includes like doom and hex and a few other things as well but the main ones that i can take advantage of and would suggest taking advantage of is if you see these heroes pick a viper for mid if you are good with viper or you're happy to play viper it is so 
freaking good. And obviously, if you are a off laner, if you are someone who can benefit from a Silver Edge, if you see one of these heroes doing well early game, grab a Silver Edge, take advantage of it, because it is going to help you out in the late game when you can pile a bristle back with your whole team that is affected by break, he's going to die a lot quicker. Let's talk about some specific heroes that break is really good on. Okay, so this is the funny one that I wanted to show you guys. Oh, I find it quite funny. Uh, and it might not work in a higher rank game, but in a lower rank, this will definitely get you kills easily. We all know about Abaddon or Abaddon or whatever, uh, that when you attack him and you lower his health down, you get him lower and his ult triggers. And then when his ult triggers, he heals up to full because you're all attacking him or you can stop attacking him. But either way, any damage he takes, heals him instead of damaging him. Now, I'm going to reset that so he has his ult back and we're going to know exactly what happens when you apply a break to him. So, let's say, for example, you're going to kill him here. You want to use your alacrity. You go here. Just before you trigger that, one more hit probably, use your break and then you can kill him and it won't trigger. He can still trigger it himself. It doesn't disable it fully. It just disables the automatic trigger of it. But I will tell you right now, there is going to be a lot of people in games that will not know this and you can kill them on the enemy team. They will be like, why did my ult go off? I have no idea why it didn't go off. Because a lot of people play with Abaddon or Abaddon or whatever <laughs> and expect the ult to go off on its own. They don't plan on pressing it themselves. They just let it go off on their own and there you go. You can break him and it won't go off. You'll get a few kills out of this before they catch on in many games. Now, I'll link all of the heroes in the description that break does affect, of course. I'll put a link down there. You can check them out. Let's just give a few more examples, and then we'll call the video there. But these are some of the honorable mentions, I guess, the ones that I think work really well. Um, there's many more, but it would take forever to cover them all. Anyway, the first one is going to be Ursa. If you put a break on Ursa, the Fury Swipes that he does will no longer stack for that duration, meaning he's going to do a lot less damage than he normally would. The next person is going to be Timbersaw. While he is in the break, he is not going to have his reactive armor, making him so much easier to kill than if he did have it. Obviously, Timbersaw, we've all been in a situation where it's pretty much impossible to kill him. The next one is going to be the Slark passive effect, which is Essence Shift. As he attacks a target, he gets Essence Shift. However, if you apply the break, as you will see, he will no longer gain any more Essence Shift. He will keep the current ones that he's got, but he won't gain any more. So if he is starting a fight out with none of this, you can apply that down into the actual place where you're fighting, and you're going to see him do a lot less damage than he normally would after hitting you for a few more times. There's many, many more, so if you have any other things that you know works really well, let me know in the comments, guys. I hope you all found this useful. Please do subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Like I said, I have a lot more stuff like this coming out soon. More of the videos where we talk about did you know stuff, um, and then just many other things of content coming soon. But other than that, I appreciate every single one of you that did subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later, guys.